Hello everyone, this is section 12.2 and this is about markups based on selling price. So percent markup on selling price is the dollar markup divided by selling price, right? So the markup is the percent of the selling price. And it notice here it says many retailers mark their goods on the selling price since sales information is easier to get than cost information. So they've got it right there in their store and it's for sale, right? So they can tell what that is. So it, there can be a percent markup on cost or on selling price. All right, so first we're going to start out with a fairly simple question. The cost is fifteen eighty. The selling price is fifty one. It's asking us for the amount of the dollar markup and the percent markup on selling price. So to find our dollar amount, dollar markup amount, we're going to subtract. So we take the selling price and we subtract the cost to find that the markup amount is 3520. So that is answering one of our questions, right? Find the amount of the dollar markup. And then the percent markup is going to be, right, this dollar amount of the markup divided by uh, the the selling price, right? So we're going to take 35.20 and divide it by the selling price, which was $51. And we see that it is 0 0.6901. It tells us to round to the nearest tenth percent. So that will be 69.0. Since we are rounding it to a specific place, we're going to keep that zero in there to show that, that we rounded to the tenths place once it was in percent form. All right. Barry J., a gown manufacturer, received an order for 500 prom dresses from China. Her cost is $38 a gown. If her markup based on selling price is 77%, what is the selling price of each gown round to the nearest cent? So I'm giving you the formula equation and I'm giving you the other formula, right? Both of those. And you'll see in your book sometimes it's telling you check your answer using, say, the formula. So we're going to set this up with the equation first. And so we know this. We know that the cost is $38. We know that the markup is based on the selling price and it's 77%. Okay, so it is 77% of the selling price that we don't know. So this is how we set this up. Now, this means that you have to be able to do some equation solving. So what we do is we want to get the S's together on one side. This is a 1S representing 100% of the selling price. And we're going to subtract the 0.77S from both sides. And so we get 0.23 times the S equals 38. You will see that when resolving these equations, there are only certain kinds of equations that we'll have to solve. And so if you can solve those, I think it's about three different basic equations that you would have to know how to solve. And other than that, we don't really use any algebra in this class. Now, I am fine with you using the other method, this method. That's, that's fine. Um, you just have to know how to use it. And, and you know get everything in the right spot. So notice the cost divided by 1 minus the markup, right? 1 minus 0.38 is going to be 0.77. No, that was the other price. 0.77 is 0.23. And then the cost was the 38. So you see you end up doing the same thing. And I'm okay with that. So when we divide, then we get 
So that's a pretty good markup right there, right? Because it went from a cost of $38 per gallon to $165.22, 77%. That's a pretty good markup right so um and and that's just the way it works with um retail that, that it comes in at a much lower cost and then you mark it up at a certain percent for a much higher selling price all right next so notice that these two um the selling price based on selling price or the selling price based on cost uh, we find this in a different way. So for selling price based on selling price, we take the cost, we subtract the percent markup from one and divide. For selling price based on cost, we take the cost times one plus the percent markup to equal your selling price. So, you know, you could make some note cards of these to try to remember how to use uh, these different formulas or you can just go with the the equation i the formula it's still a formula right s equals c plus uh the markup which means markup amount um, anyway here's our next example okay miso sheet um owner of the bedspread shop shows his customers knows his customers will pay no more than $110 for a comforter. Misu wants a 28% markup on selling price. What is the most that Misu can pay for a comforter? Okay, so you have to weed through this a little bit. He knows his customers will pay more, no more than 110 so this is our selling price. He wants a 28% markup on selling price. That makes this one a pretty straightforward one, right? And so if we're using the equation, right, we know the selling price is 110. We don't know the cost, but the markup percent is on the selling price. So that's going to be 28% times 110. Remember, we're multiplying and we change our percent to a decimal. If you look at the formula, you see that you are going to take the selling price times one minus the percent markup on selling price, and, and that's a quick calculation. So when I multiply this, uh, I find that it is, um, let's see, seventy uh, $30.80. I was looking at the wrong part of my slides. And then I subtract that to solve for C. So C is 79.20. Now, if I use um, the cost, right, this part, where we're kind of basing it on some of the things we did back in chapter three, right, my cost is my portion and um, so in this case, I'm looking for the cost, right? So cost is equal to the selling price times one minus the selling price percent, the markup percent. And so C is 110 times, uh, sorry about that. 0.72 and I will get the same answer 79.20 so I would say in this case this is the this uh, cost equals selling price times one minus that is a quick way to do that all right so here's a little synopsis from your book on section 12.1 and 12.2 because really they do go together we're talking about all these different markup percents and markup on cost markup, markup on selling price you do have to read very carefully but this might be a nice little chart for you to keep handy and then you can see how to calculate using the little formula or using the equation and um, it it's a good thing to maybe keep on hand like on your note cards right okay so now we're going to I'm going to show you how to go from the percent markup on um, cost to the percent markup on selling price or vice versa so you notice that if we're going we're converting from cost to selling price we'll take the percent markup on cost 
and then we'll divide it by one plus the percent markup on cost. If we're converting from selling price, then we'll take the percent markup on selling price and divide it by one minus the percent markup on selling price. And I suppose if you just are like, I would rather have the percent markup on cost, then you could just do a quick calculation and you would have that. I'm okay with that also as a technique here. Okay. So we're still on the same person. There's about three problems in the book that go together. Uh, Mizu she Sheet wants to advertise the comforter back from number three as percent markup on cost. Remember, we had the percent markup on selling price in the previous question. What is the equivalent rate of percent markup on cost compared to the 28% markup on selling price? Check your answer. Is this a wise marketing decision? Round to the nearest hundredth percent. Okay, so to find the percent markup on cost, we're going to take the percent markup on cost and divide it by 1 minus the percent markup on cost. So 0.28 divided by 0.72 and we get 38.89%. Now it said to also check this, and we can check it by going back to um, the percent markup on selling price and converting it to cost, or, or, or no, <laughs> take the cost and convert it back to selling price. So we can use that same, the, the other formula, right, where we take the percent markup on cost, whoops, I better change that to a decimal, three eight eight nine and we divide it by one plus the percent markup on cost now when we calculate this we should get um the same percent we we started which with with which was the um twenty eight percent so when you do this point three eight eight nine divided by when you add that um one point three 889, then you get 28%. Now there's a bunch of little decimals following that, you know, because we did have to round this. It was like a 0.8 repeating. Okay, so which would we rather say? Because the whole point of was, was check your answer, right? And then is this a wise marketing decision? Well, when you look at these two percents, you can see that customers seeing this one are going to think that's higher. So I would say um, use 28% so customers, because customer, let's say, because customers will like that better. Now, the it, it turns out to be the same amount if you were actually calculating your markup because we use the bigger markup on the cost and the smaller markup on the selling price, but you end up with the same markup. But 28% sounds better. It sounds better to customers. Oops. Alrighty, so I'm going to stop this video and finish this lesson on the next one.